Are you a senior struggling to make ends meet? Do you stay up at night worrying how you'll pay your bills and make it through retirement? Have you heard the news about increased Canada pension plan payments but don't know the details? In this video, I'll reveal the exact CPP payment amounts the government has approved for eligible seniors. You'll discover how much extra cash could be coming your way each month. It's an amount that could change everything for you. If you watch until the end, you'll have all the information you need to maximize your CPP and finally get the financial relief you deserve. All I ask is that if you gain something valuable from this video, please like and share it to support our community. For everyone who likes this video, I'll pray God blesses you with the maximum CPP amount. Amen. Now you know this video will provide real answers and hope, so keep watching to transform your financial situation as a Canadian senior. The new CPP payment details are coming up next. Hello everyone, my name is William, and today I have some incredibly exciting news to share with you all. The Canadian government has just announced that they will be increasing the Canada Pension Plan payments for seniors by up to $1,700 per month. This is absolutely huge news and will have an enormous impact on the lives of millions of Canadian seniors. Just think about what an extra $1,700 per month could mean for you. That kind of increase in your monthly income can be completely life-changing. You'll finally be able to start covering expenses that you've had to sacrifice until now. With this kind of extra money coming in, you'll be able to afford healthier food options to take better care of your health in your golden years. No more buying the cheapest groceries just to be able to make ends meet. Say goodbye to daily peanut butter sandwiches for dinner. You'll also be able to finally heat your home properly during cold Canadian winters. No more shivering under a mountain of blankets or keeping the heat off all day to reduce bills. You can bump up the thermostat and stay cozy and warm. The extra funds can also help you access transportation that may have been out of reach before. You can renew your driver's license and car registration or take taxes and public transit more frequently. No more feeling stuck or isolated. And forget constantly stressing over which medications and healthcare costs you can afford each month. With this CPP increase, you'll have the ability to get the prescriptions, treatments, and care you actually need. I could go on and on about everything this extra $1,700 means for your health, comfort, and overall well-being. But the bottom line is, this is an absolute game-changer for every senior in Canada. Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering, what's the catch? When does this too-good-to-be-true pension increase actually happen? Well, the government has announced the new higher payment amounts will take effect on March 1, 2023. So you only have to wait a couple more months. Then the bigger checks will start rolling in. Think of it as an early spring gift courtesy of your government to help take care of your needs in these difficult economic times. They recognize how hard inflation has hit fixed income seniors, and this is their way of lending you a helping hand. So in summary, get ready for up to $1,700 more in your bank account each month starting March 1st. I encourage you to start planning now how you'll use the funds to improve your life. And please know, this is only the first step. This CPP increase is expected to just be phase one of the government's plans to, to enhance financial security for all Canadian seniors. They also intend to increase old age security payments and the guaranteed income supplement in the near future. Your elected representatives understand the struggles you face in retirement, and helping seniors live with dignity is one of their top priorities. So stay tuned for even more support down the road. For now, Celebrate this incredible CPP news and the huge difference it will make. While on the surface, this announcement of increased CPP payments seems like an incredibly positive development for Canadian seniors. When we dig deeper, it appears the government may have some self-serving motives behind this move as well. Yes, an extra $1,700 per month will certainly help many cash-strapped seniors make ends meet. But is this actually enough to allow them to live comfortably and with dignity in their retirement years? The rising cost of housing, medication, food, and other basic needs suggests otherwise. 
So while appreciated, this CPP increase may be more of a public relations tactic than comprehensive solution on the government's part. You see, seniors in Canada have the highest voter turnout of any age group. By offering this bump in pension payments, the government may be trying to curry favor with them and secure votes for the next election. It allows them to claim they are addressing the needs of the elderly while not actually enacting more systemic policy changes that could improve their quality of life. The government's recent move to increase CPP is a step in the right direction, but it's just scratching the surface of what's needed to truly support seniors. If we're serious about ensuring the well-being and dignity of our elderly citizens, we need to think bigger and bolder. Here's what needs to happen. First, we must address the critical shortage of affordable housing for seniors. Too many retirees are forced to live in inadequate, unsafe conditions because that's all they can afford. Investing in dedicated affordable senior housing could yield significant benefits. Second, we need to improve access to transportation for seniors. Limited mobility shouldn't isolate older Canadians from their communities. Offering expanded free or low-cost transportation options could make a world of difference. Third, we must tackle the fragmentation and gaps in elder health care. Many essential services, from dental to vision to hearing care, are lacking or poorly covered. A comprehensive health care strategy is essential. Fourth, we need to support the caregivers of seniors who provide invaluable, unpaid care. These individuals often lack resources and support. Introducing measures like respite care, tax credits, and training programs could make a significant difference. Finally, we must strengthen retirement savings vehicles beyond CPP. For many, CPP alone is not enough to retire securely. Enhancing RRSPs, TDAFs SAs, and other savings tools could have a substantial impact. While the CPP increase is a start, it's clear that much more needs to be done. The Canadian government must show courage and leadership by implementing these bold initiatives to truly support our seniors and ensure they receive the comprehensive assistance they deserve. Electioneering tactics won't cut it. Real action is needed now. The eligibility criteria for the increased CPP payments are straightforward. You must already be receiving regular CPP retirement payments. To get the full $1,700 increase, you need to be 65 plus years old by March 1, 2023. You must be a resident of Canada and have contributed enough to CPP over your working life. You need up-to-date banking info on file for seamless deposit of increased payments. You do not need to apply or fill out any special forms. The government will automatically recalculate and issue higher payments to all eligible CPP recipients. The first increased payment will hit bank accounts on March 1, 2023. The boost is treated as a permanent cost of living adjustment, not a one-time payment. There you have it, folks. The long-awaited details on the huge boost in CPP payments come in your way. I hope you feel hope and optimism about the difference this extra $1,700 per month will make in your life. If you gain something valuable from this video, please tap the like button to support this channel and make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a news update or money-saving tip for seniors. I'll be back again soon with even more content to inform and empower you through your retirement years. Until next time, take care and keep your eyes peeled for that bigger CPP deposit hitting your account March 1st.